YouTube, you know who it is. I already introduced myself, and let's jump right into this game. Now, I've already played through it before, so... Man, it's such a good game. If some of my reactions don't seem as true, it's because they're probably not. Uh, let's see, let's get down in here. Settings, video settings, gamma, we'll turn that. No, we'll leave that down. Audio, we'll leave that where it is. And subtitles, yes. Make them large, hella large. Yeah, like semi-opaque. Wireless controller settings, no. Yes, vibration, alright. So, uh, okay. Did that, that exit everything out or something? No, please. Okay. So I'm going to try to get through the whole first episode today. <clears throat> it might seem like a lot to get through. But, you know, we're just going to jump right into it. Uh, so the main the main content of the story is, well, here we go. Story-based game features player choice. Consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. And I love the concept of this game. You guys are just gonna, you guys are just gonna have to find out. I'm gonna shut up now because there's storms coming on. So So I realize I may have made a mistake with the settings, with the uh, language. Uh, we're just gonna go back to normal and put them on. Yeah, may have messed up with that. I'm sorry. That's terrible. Wait, there the there we go. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. All right, so let's just get to this lighthouse. Beautiful. Nice graphics. Control. Uh, uh, third person. Not much for it. Not a fan of third person. But you know what? That's all fine and dandy. Because we're about to get to this lighthouse. I wish there was a way you could run. I don't know what that big old shit storm over there is. It looks like a big ass twister. I don't know. What's this? Uh, Academy 910. Black Belt Academy 910. Okay, okay, okay. Bricks. House. Coughing. A lot of coughing. Too much coughing. Holy shit. I don't know if I'm being too quiet or not, but uh oh. See, that just that just looks foreboding. I really do not want to go do that. Alright, so so we died. Whoa, no we didn't. Hello. That was so surreal film little pieces of time but he could be talking about photography as he likely was okay i'm These in class everything's cool i am okay from light to shadow from color to chiaroscuro now can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in i black didn't and fall asleep and that sure didn't feel like a dream weird Oh man. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. I feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw him was so tortured, funny. right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic <laughs> tradition. And Max. As a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. 
Uh, you're asking you're me? You're asking me? Well, let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there no, anybody man, here it. who knows oh, this yeah. stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. So we do not want to want to give in to this thing. Obviously. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is starting to just leave. I see you, Max Caulfield. Uh, Don't what? even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Shut up about my entry, man. Ain't nobody trying to care. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have Do to? I, have to I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. You're but life won't man. wait for you to play catch Trust up. Me, you're you're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. That's what separates the artist from the amateur. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful quote. Fucking Victoria. I don't like it. Alright, let's go. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You always Welcome to the real world. Hot. Huh. Then I might send you a special picture. Oh. Because a special picture. Plays it so <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. Man, I always look like a total loser. I love how she's like going to the bathroom and then she just kicks up against the wall. She's so fucking To all of you, American girls, it's sad to imagine a world without you. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving you a car good. by the sea. Nobody can see my meltdown except for me. Rachel and Now, who the would bitch. bother to write that crap? I would. I hate Victoria Chase. <gasps> Illuminati. This poster must drive people to have sex. Katie, Kate twerks for God. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. You can still love and learn without sex. Time is on your side. So is common sense. Use it. All right. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Uh, Boner Club, Vortex Club are jerks. Who the hell's Vortex Club? The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck, Fuck you. you. 
I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all starts with because it is, man. It is. I don't know. Okay. Am I going crazy? A little bit. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Now let's take a photo of this butterfly. Beautiful. Who's this guy? This is the girl's bathroom. What's this asshole doing? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. Okay, that's that's that's. Fun. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Ugh. Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing oh, around with. Did you get that? What are you doing? <sighs> Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! So she's dead. Or is she? Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can exactly. that Exactly. I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. What? These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, it's real, you boys. An example of oh, no. I cannot believe this. The human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Why Arvis? A little too to rewind. And the camera is fixed. I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. Victoria, why Arvis? Because of her Let's take another selfie. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. A selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. Exactly. As a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. It's real. I can tell. Your generation. So I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? Can I save her? Has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest in clear Alright, we can talk. skip and let's just go on ahead and do it. Uh, I feel sick. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here? Shit. Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. Alright, so now we're in one. Now you're totally stuck in the 
Prozone. zone. Sad face. Oh no, hold up, whoa, Jesus Christ, man, that about got really bad. Ooh, my video stopped recording for a second, so, uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Max, since okay, you've captured our... The Daguerrean process. Invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. Okay. Here you guys, we go. don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes Everyday contest. Heroes I'll fly out with the winner to San winner Francisco, San Francisco, where you'll be vetted by the art world. world. It's great exposure. exposure you Kickstarter, career in photography. photography. So Stella, Stella, and Alyssa, Alyssa together. 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 Taylor, Taylor don't hide. Odd. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, Max pretending not to see you. Not to see me. That was just a basic Max, overview. I'm not guys crazy. Happy with that. We're not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Everyday hero. Well, let's go, boy. You still have to do your homework this morning. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I want to give him the butterfly photo. I'd never but let no, one of photographers. I can just skip it. Not avoiding it. I just, I'm not avoiding just, it. I haven't just found a good one. Biding time, waiting for the elusive right moment. Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens That's when you're busy making quote. other plans. That's another beautiful quote. I'm just going to start quoting this entire, Go on. This entire video. Don't let me stop you. The latest action is presented by... Okay. You'll have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo... Excuse me. So let's Mr. talk Jefferson, to him. Try to save a few homework? seconds. Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never okay, let one of photography's future start. And John Lennon said, "I'm on top of it." I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire. See what I mean? He, All the right answers. He's good. He's catching on to it. Make he sure knows you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. He can smell it in my eyes. Open the door. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, right, I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. So now sprint. And get to the bathroom, don't go low. Okay, Max, retrace every step. Okay, Max. You washed your face now. I sure washed my face. First. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Okay, bit. Leave them and out of this bitch. Go. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. <clears throat> I don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. I need a hammer to break it open. Is there a hammer? You're trying to what control me. You are going to be in hell more there trouble there. for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, oh. psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can so help. Let's go back to this. Get in hella more and trouble for this than drugs. Nobody Bang. would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Another shitty day. So, I saved her. Does that mean that I'm a hero happen. now? All right, now I gotta get us all. Can we us all? How about that? Saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is oh, covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? 
Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your make job. sure my, my recording don't stop. Let's go talk to this principal dude. He looks rather upset, visibly upset. I don't like it. Friend Wales. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max? Just give me like two seconds. Report Nathan or hide the truth? Uh, uh, I'm gonna hide the truth. I'm not gonna be a little snitch bitch. I just got sick in class. Uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. tell me what you're hiding. Bruh. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team too to get. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents Hell will do when they find out. Now get outside. I don't understand. Class. Please. I don't, I don't get this. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship Bullshit. down the Let's toilet. Go back. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Let's go tell him the truth. You look a little. So let's report Nathan. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely well, clear what happened, happened. Man. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is serious charge. I'll look into the matter person. Thank you for bringing it Ooh. to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class. Now. There Let's we go. That was, that was the good answer. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I No, I'm you not to gonna change the story. <sighs> God. Nathan Prescott to the front office. He's getting busted. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I oh, wonder what happened man. to her. Oh man. Don't do that to me. Don't make me all sad. Y'all gonna make me all sad. I don't want to be sad. I don't know where to go. Warren, journal. Flash drive needs to be in full space. Sorry, running late on Sunday. Meet you in the lot. Looking cool, you'll see. Camera will be ready to see you shortly. Hope so. Who am I looking for? Warren. Dead. So he was born 921. Today is 924. No, it's 10.07 today. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Where's your dorm at? Journal. Jefferson Principal, yeah, I don't care about any of that shit. 
Okay, so I finished the prologue, right? Yeah. And now we're on to Monday. Not all those who wander are lost. Wait a minute, man. I'm gonna stop this recording here. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, he is able. Oh wait, we're gonna look at this poster. No, I could go not for this a poster. Burger now. Uh, we're gonna look at Miss Rachel. I know. I'm, I've never seen so many missing persons. Okay, well, I don't know. The we're we're gonna look at we're gonna look over here at this bird that's on top of uh, a dude's head. And uh, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I went on a little bit extra than I wanted to. I don't know. I could go back in time and change it. <laughs> but no, uh, really, I think I may have accidentally carried on in episode one a little bit, and I just wanted to do the prologue. It took me about 25 minutes, so I'm happy with it. I uh, hope you guys are happy seeing this. What the hell is that flying through the air there? That is not a bird. That was like a drone. Look at that. That is not a bird. Oh, it is a drone. Okay. That was right. Alright. But anyways, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode, and you know, I hope y'all are going to enjoy this series as a whole, because I really love playing this game, and I'd love people to watch me playing this game. So uh, with that, with all that said, I'll uh, see you guys later.